Good morning, everyone. It is December 17th today, I believe. Yeah. Um, and I'm probably going to upload this vlog separately as its own day. I woke up this morning feeling very just like down um, and slow. And physically, I don't feel like great. Like I'm very sinusy. I'm sure you can hear it. I really want to stress to you guys that despite all that I preach and you know I'm sure other spiritual youtubers that you watch say and do every day it doesn't mean that like we don't have these days still you know like life just isn't all sunshine and rainbows and pulling cards and, and being great happy yogis like some days are hard and you don't really know why and so I just kind of wanted to share that with you and take you a little bit on this journey with me today to try and just make myself feel better and hopefully that will give you or someone watching this some inspiration to do things to try and make themselves feel better when they have a bad day too um there's a lot of things you can do and so i'm gonna just take you through my list my routine today and see if I can get to feeling a little bit better. It wasn't super late when I woke up and I woke up and got right to my morning routine. I did my meditation practice. I pulled a few cards. Um, I journaled a lot. I drank a lot of water. I just wanted to like start crying when I finished, um, which is a good sign I'm releasing those energies. I really need to get in the shower, but I wanna eat more than I wanna shower. <laughs> First, I will shower after I eat. Um, I have no food in my kitchen, like literally no food. I have not been to the grocery store. So I have like cauliflower and <laughs> cauliflower, that's about all I got. So I might run to get coffee and like some feel good breakfast things. If I had food, I'd probably be making like some warm oatmeal or something with granola and all of that. Um, I do try and eat healthy, which I don't talk about a lot. I don't talk about my eating habits because I struggle with eating. My e eating habits are very bad. I struggle and always have with them. Let me know if you guys would like to learn more about that, like the real side of what I deal with. I think it might help some of you, but um, I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling down, so I'm gonna go get something that makes me feel good. I don't know what that is yet, but I will let you know. <laughs> I think I'm either going to get coffee or an acai bowl, um, but another thing, just a mental note now, that is really good to do when you are feeling down is to clean your space. My car is actually a mess because I'm a photographer and I'm an aerial performer, I'm an aerial teacher, I'm a yoga teacher, so I have all sorts of props and bags and outfits in this car that don't need to be sitting in here, they need to be washed and hung up until I need them. I also have two giant clothing racks in my trunk that have been there for well over a year um, when I helped at a show in Tampa. So I need to clean that and that will make me feel better. Check-in time. I went and got coffee and hash browns because they're my favorite. Um, and my best friend from where I used to live called and we had a nice convo. I'm helping him with some business stuff and getting his business up and running. Um, I'm gonna be starting like business consulting soon for like my spiritual boss babes out there who are ready to step into their power and make a living doing what they love no matter what it is. So um, he's kind of my test run and it was really nice to check in with him. We're gonna have a meeting tonight about um, the next steps for him and his business. So I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm feeling more inspired. Um, definitely him calling improved my mood like drastically. So thank you, Santino. I love I love you. Um, I'm gonna leave all of his links in the description. He does all sorts of like fashion stuff. Um, he's also a baker. 
he's just got all the talents. So I'm gonna leave his information down there if you want to check out what his business is all about. Um, I'm sure we'll make a video on it sometime when I actually see him because he's a thousand miles away. Um, but anyway, I'm sure you can tell I'm feeling a little bit more me right now. So it's about one. Um, I'm gonna pop myself in the shower because I wore this to bed last night and um, and then I'm gonna get working. I, I only have one time sensitive thing that I need to get done um, and I have to send out packages and that's what that is. So I know the line's gonna be long because of the holidays so I'm gonna just get that done. So, so far things to do when you aren't feeling yourself, go get your favorite breakfast or your favorite drink that makes you feel good and call a friend that you love. A call somebody who knows you inside and out and I'm positive that will help get you going. So I will check in in a little bit. I'm about to get ready because I always feel better and like more productive when I'm actually put together. So I'm gonna do that really quick. I am feeling better and dressed and like presentable and I am feeling a lot more inspired to create today which I did not think I would be up for so I am going to um, throw on some you I'm gonna throw on some YouTube videos and just kind of entertain myself while I package up a few Depop orders and then I have to run those to the post office and um, I kind of want to, if I have time, film a video out on my porch redoing this. So I want to have a new like grid and everything and card for the new year. So if I have time, just because the sun sets very early, it sets at like 5 o'clock. Wow, I'm overexposed. Um, but yeah, just because the sun sets so early, I don't always have a whole lot of time to um, film, which is frustrating. But we're going to see if I can make it work. Um, we'll see what else I feel inspired to do today. So far, we are on a good roll. I'm really happy with um, my decision to not only make this video, but to put the extra effort in to not sit around and mope and have a bad day when I don't need to because that's a waste of energy so love you guys um thank you for giving me a platform to express myself in any way that feels good for me and i hope that somebody benefits from this as well if you guys have any suggestions or things you like to do and you're having a bad day leave them in the comments down below so we can just kind of help support each other and build this community um, because that's really why I'm here <laughs> I got all of my Depop orders packed and our friend, mine and Haley's friend Sarah's mom made us this awesome bag. It's actually for my aerial silks and my aerial yoga hammocks, but it fits tons and tons of boxes flawlessly. So I'm gonna drop these off at the post office and then I have some mm, cleaning to do. <laughs> Whew, okay, I finally am home. It's like four o'clock. I got all those packages shipped. I had to go to my parents and print out the shipping labels because I don't have a printer yet. I don't even have a desk yet. Um, so yeah, that took five ever. And of course there is just a line like out the A <laughs> at the post office because of course the holidays, but that's okay. I'm really happy that I got it done because things like that that I just keep pushing off tend to make my anxiety flare up. So that could also be part of the reason why I had my cranky morning. Um, so that clears out some stuff in my house. Some packing supplies are gone, um, which means less stuff, less mess. That's all good, all good things. I feel productive, so that's good. I might work on my planner for a little bit for the week so I know like what things I need to get done by when. Take you over here to my wall. 
meditation spot. I'm kind of far from you, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sitting on my really cute meditation pillow from my um, thrifting vlog, if you guys, or my thrift haul, if you guys haven't seen it, I will link it below. But yeah, I really like it. I love my little meditation spot. So I'm gonna just go off um, or go check things off of my to-do list that I got done which is the most satisfying feeling in the world. I did that, I'm about to do that. So I have to send out some Amazon orders, only two, so that I can get done in like minutes, which needs to be done. And yeah, we're conquering the day very well for how it started. So I'm very proud of myself. Hell yeah. This is my little meditation spot in the morning. I sit right here. Sorry, my legs look like literal hot dogs. <laughs> But this is where I sit. I burn my sage and get all zen out. I pull a bunch of cards. I was reading this book from um, Natasha today from our hippie swap, which I'll also link in the description. And then I did my daily draw. I always write down the cards that I pull and kind of how it resonates with me that day in particular. The cards that I pulled today were these right here but I kind of want to pull one right now. So let's see what we are thinking about. I'm just grab it, see what we get. Where are you being called a journey to? I'm gonna pick one from this deck actually. Hmm. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Definitely a needed reminder today. A tool that I use all the time when I am not feeling myself or just have a lot of questions, a lot of doubt, a lot of anxiety. I love to do reading. I love to do readings for myself and for my friends and clients and things. Um, I like to do three card. That's two. I like to do three card spreads from different decks so you can kind of get um, a lot of different messages. Um, and it's always nice to get those different messages and see how they resonate because there might be something bothering you or changing things in your, you know, I guess your mood or your personality that you might not even be aware of. And the cards really do help bring those things to your attention and help offer an alternative perspective on the things that you're going through. So if you are interested in getting your cards read if you have questions for the universe um, if you have doubts about something if you have a big decision to make i would definitely recommend getting a card reading done i'm gonna start doing them for you guys i'm gonna leave the link in the description please reach out um, i would love to talk about anything that you need to talk about and give you some guidance and um, yeah, so that is definitely something I recommend doing if you are having an off day. And if you don't have any Oracle cards, I'll list the ones that I own in the description. I have three, I have three different decks out here right now that I adore and they're very, very beginner friendly. So I'll, like, I'll leave those for you in the description so you can go and grab a deck if you don't own one already yet. I just went and checked out a different Goodwill. We're having a video just filming Inception here. I wanted to give you some behind the scenes. I just finished filming a thrift haul video. Um, this is the way that I've been filming lately because my DSLR does not have a viewfinder, like a flip out viewfinder. So I have no idea what I'm filming ever and no idea if it's in focus. My lens is a manual focus. I just hauled some really, really awesome pieces. I'll give you a sneak peek. Um, so if you haven't seen this thrift video yet, I'll link it in the description. You can go check it out. But um, yeah, I just went thrifting today and I went to my normal thrift store and then I checked out one that 
um, was recommended to me and it actually wasn't as like awesome as I heard, but I'm glad that I checked it out finally because it had been bothering me. I drive past it all the time, so I did the thing, but I'm going to list um, a lot of these items that I hauled today on my Depop store because it's, that's what I do, y'all. It's super fun. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening, and I will check in in a little bit. Hey kids, I switched sweaters. Also, I wanted to um, say that I'm filming some of my vlog on my iPhone and some on my DSLR. I'm having a lot of formatting issues with my memory cards. I have like 100 billion like regular memory SD cards, and then I have some like micro SDs with adapters. But um, I'm having a lot of issues with them, so that's why I am kind of jumping back and forth. So I wanted to just apologize for the quality like changes. I have to package a couple orders for Depop, which is really exciting. And yeah, that's all that's happening right now. I kind of feel called to pull a card. So let's do that. I have this deck here. This is the Soul's Journey deck by James Van something, Van Bra, I think. I'm probably really butchering that. I'll leave the link to um, this deck in the description if you want one of your own. This is like one of my favorite decks ever. I'm gonna even just like do it in my hands. Relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. I love that. See, we are like such a family here on YouTube. I've met so many amazing friends and um, yeah, I've just, I've met so many amazing friends through YouTube and through just my other online platforms. So I feel like I really, really resonate with this right now. I actually just sent my swap box to um, Natasha or Princess Jasmine. So you guys will see that unboxing soon if you haven't already. I don't know the order of all these videos. I'm filming like 300 videos all at one time. Um, but yeah, so I'm so grateful for you watching this. I love you. I support you. I hold space for you to dream big and make your biggest wildest dreams come true and let me know if I can help support you in any way. I'm just so grateful for your presence. I'm grateful for your life here on earth and yeah, I love it. So I'm gonna get back to work. I just wanted to check in and say hey, but I will check in soon. Okay, I'm trying to reformat this card. So I'm going in and clearing out like everything that I have, which is a lot. This is, see, this is the video, the haul that I just filmed. You can see it filmed in a bunch of little segments. Most, all of these are like eight seconds long um, because my camera will just stop recording. It'll just say video stopped recording automatically. So that means there's a problem with my memory card and I need to figure that out. And yeah, so wish me luck. <laughs> Technology's great when it works. You'd figure we're in Mercury retrograde, but not today. Today it's all me. <laughs> so I managed to finish editing the video, the haul that I just filmed, and now I'm watching Adeline's Vlogmas. If you don't watch um, Adeline, you should. She's awesome. I actually used to like watch her way 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 back when she first started youtube because it was when i first started youtube and we kind of like knew of each other so it's really crazy to see now how successful she has been and how happy she is and um she's just such an amazing happy person and i'm so proud of her and everything that she has built for herself um it's just so cool. It's so cool because I saw her from the beginning when she, you know, was just filming videos alone in her room and it was like so low key back in old school YouTube days and, and now she's like a freaking kick ass boss ass business babe. I finished editing that video and that will be up. I'm going to save it. So I'm going to schedule it. Um, and then I'm going to try and reformat my freaking SD card and I won't have time to film outside because it's already getting dark. And yeah, I just had to get this card reformatted and there's literally no space on my computer right now. So I was like, I just have to edit this now because I'm gonna have to delete it. If I reformat it, it's gonna delete everything on my card. So I just did it. It's only five. Um, feeling productive. I'm really tired. My allergies are really bothering me, but we're getting it done. <laughs> 
Hi guys, so it is the end of the night. I am really, really tired, you can probably tell. Um, but it's only 10 and I really want to kind of organize and clean up this area over here. Um, there's just been stuff like sitting around for a few days now to try and figure out where I want to put it and it's still sitting there and I also still have some of um, Natasha's goodies to take out of the box and incorporate into my little area. Hi guys, happy December 18th, I believe. Um, it's pretty late in the day, it's already two, but um, pretty much all morning I escaped my apartment and went to my parents' house. They did like a fire alarm test, so I did not want to be here for that. Loud noises give, it, I, loud noises like that just give me all the anxiety, so I was like, I'm gonna just go and come back, and so I just got home, and I ended up cleaning out like a lot of stuff from my old room and just like boxes that I had left of like craft supplies and all kinds of stuff so I'm really excited to kind of play with everything since I haven't seen it in like a while so one of the things that I found was this awesome giant like teapot which you could definitely use as a teapot teapot there's like drainage even inside, but I thought it would be cooler to use it as a planter because I have a lot of plants that are getting ready to grow out of their little pots and this one's massive. And then I did, I don't know if I, guys, if I told you guys, but I got a little shelf at the thrift store. I'll link the vlog that I, um, well, I'll link the haul that I hauled it in in the description, but I told you I wanted to hang all of my spiritual like prayer beads on it and mala beads and stuff. Um, and I was raised in a Catholic Christian household. Um, well, family, I guess my whole family is. And so I have a lot of rosaries from different family members. And even though I don't really practice that religion, I still find them to be very sacred and very beautiful. Um, and are a way to connect with the divine in just a different way. So I wanted to keep them and display them. I have four different ones right here. So these are the rosaries that I have and they're all gorgeous. This one's from my grandparents and it has like glass beading on it. That's just freaking beautiful. This one is from a family member. Um, this one's from my best friend and this one I still don't know where it's from. I called my grandma to ask and I don't really know. So I'm gonna go hang all of these. Just scoop them all up. Oh, all the things. And this is the little shelf I was telling you about that holds all my mala beads. Okay, so I have malas on both of these and I wanna put like rosaries on just one of them. So I'm thinking like so. Yay! Oh, I just love having them all here. It makes me feel like, you know, I have different family members almost like with me when I practice anything because they're just hanging. And I have a few more malas at Haley's that I need to grab, but this is pretty much the majority of my collection now and I'm super happy with it. It looks so cute on this tiny little shelf. It was just perfect for it. Good morning, friends. It is December 21st. I cannot believe that this month is already almost over. Freaking crazy. I don't know where to put you. See my gingerbread house? My boyfriend Tyler and I made our gingerbread house and one of the sides fell off. But it was fun. We did it and it tasted good. So I wanted to update you. Sorry, I'm like actually <laughs> like so exhausted and tired and like that means the same thing. 
I'm just so out of it. I'm making some chocolate chip waffles. I try and eat very healthy most of the time. But it's very funny when you're vlogging, you can see how bad your eating habits really are. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this in there. I'm meeting my grandparents for lunch in a couple hours, so hopefully that will hold me over. I've been vlogging a lot the last couple days just because I've really been like working from home. Um, and it's been like super rainy and storming, just gross the last few days. Like, I wonder if you could see that it's literally like flowing onto my balcony. I'm gonna get a video edited right now and posted. I just last night made, well, I'll show you this way, a, a bunch of really cute clay pendants with crystals. So I made a little video about it last night. I was gonna get it up last night, but it didn't end up filming and, or end up being done filming until like after 11. So I was like, homegirl needs to get some sleep. And I need to clean up my house because my grandparents are coming to see it. It's been a little bit since they've been here. So anyway, I'm gonna get editing, get this video up, get showered, look like a normal human. I'll check in with you guys soon. <laughs> ready to teach a full moon celebration class. I'm so excited. Tonight is a full moon in Cancer. Woo -hoo! Let's get ready for the magic. You guys, I just needed to take a minute to express my gratitude for just the space that I'm able to hold for all of these incredible people. Um, the ladies that came to my full moon circle today were incredible and um, I am just so greatly impacted by every person that I meet, every story that I hear. Um, and just, it's amazing to hold space for people when they need it because we don't get a lot of that in the world today. So um, we meditated for a little bit. We made these really, really cute intention jars for the new year with crystals and herbs and roses and little intention notes in there. And the ladies loved it. We had a blast. It's a mess. <laughs> We had a full house, so I am just, I'm overwhelming, like, I am so overwhelmed with gratitude and happiness right now, and I was feeling so nervous and anxious before it all went down, so I'm just really proud of myself for pulling through and teaching this and just impacting people's lives for the better, because that's why I'm here. Hey guys, so I just made it home. I um, updated some events on Facebook. This is the life of a like working from home kind of person. <laughs> I pretty much just sit on my couch and like type away all day long. So um, I like vlogging. It actually tries to, it actually forces me to like want to get out of the house more, which I definitely need to do more of. I am doing a photo shoot tomorrow for one of my childhood best friends who's having a baby in March and I'm just like over the moon excited. So yeah, we have her maternity shoot tomorrow. I'm super excited. I have a lot of ideas and like artistic things that I want to play with in my mind. That's that. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my first vlog from my new desk that I got this year. Um, sorry, I look gross, I just woke up. <laughs> but I wanted to vlog because I'm off to a good start this morning and it's gonna be a fun, oops, it's gonna be a fun day. And um, I have a couple of videos that I need, well, I have a video I need to film today and a video I need to edit and upload today. So um, yeah, but I'm just chilling at my new desk. It's a mess because um, Christmas was not yesterday, but the day before. So I have like boxes and things and pieces everywhere, but um, I woke up this morning and got right to my desk, which you guys will see in my what I got for Christmas video, which I will link in the description. Um, but I just, 
did my plan for today, which is I'm gonna run to the thrift store really quick. I haven't been in a few days and I'm kind of like itching to go, you know? Um, so I wanna do that. I need to clean my home, <laughs> get the big boxes out to the trash. Um, I wanna film the what I got for Christmas video. And um, I wanna also transfer some files to my new, I got this flash drive. That's 128 gigabytes of storage. I was gonna get a big external hard drive, but I don't necessarily need it yet. So I just decided to start with that and hopefully that will help me upload videos. I'm having a lot of issues right now doing it. That's why my Vlogmas videos aren't up. So um, I wanna do that, try and see if that will work. And then I'm gonna spend some time, um, hopefully at my grandparents today or tonight. Um, and hang out with my aunt and uncle and their kids that are here for the holidays. So I did that. I did um, a couple things on my to-do list. I cat I caught 11-11 this morning, so I wrote it down, which was fun. Um, but it's so crazy because I only have a couple more days in this planner. Today's the 27th, and then we have the 28th, 29th, 30th, and the 31st. And then I'm done. I can move to my new planner. So um, this is like completely full. Sometimes I don't fill it out, but for the most part it's full. So let me know if you guys would like to see like a planner collection video, cause I keep all of my planners throughout the years. So I think it would be kind of cool to like go back and flip through and see um, how I used to do it and what I was up to. Um, cause I do want to get more into like bullet journaling and that fun stuff. So anyway, that was random. So I'm gonna get going on my list. I'm gonna run to the thrift store. I was thinking about that last night <laughs> while I was going to bed. I was like excited about it. So I'm gonna do that. Um, hopefully get my hair in a not so ugly state and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Yay! So I'm standing back pretty far because I don't want you to see the addresses, but I just got all of my Depop orders all organized and with all the products that people ordered. So I'm going to so I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run to the store and get some shipping supplies. I used to have a bunch of boxes, um, but I already used them all, so I need more. And good thing Christmas just passed. That means I have a lot of packing material, um, and I actually do have boxes like at my parents' house that I can go swipe. So I'm excited to get these orders shipped. Let's go get some shipping stuff. Yay! I successfully got like all of these orders packaged and ready to go. I have one box here and then the shelf one back there. I just need to find a box that will fit. It will fit in. <laughs> and my mom texted me saying she's going to get her nails done and um, I have been ripping all of mine off. So I'm about to go leave and do that. Got my nails done with my mama, and I love how they look for New Year's, nice and sparkly. Um, but yeah, made some food, watched, oop, that hurt. <laughs> made some food, watched some videos, filmed a video. I filmed the what I got for Christmas video, so now I can clean and put everything away. I also got all of my packages shipped. I'm gonna just clean up my mess, because you can obviously tell where I was sitting right here. And my, yep. Got things to do. <laughs> guys so I just got home I watered Haley's plants and stuff and um, I'm doing a big sale on my Depop store right now they always have sales going on so I'll leave the link down there but I'm doing an 
amazing sale. They're doing free shipping for the next three days. And um, I felt really called all of a sudden to tend to my little money ritual that I have going on right here and to just re-smudge. So I wanted to kind of chat with you a little bit about that um, and kind of tell you what I did. So here's the top of my altar. It's kind of a mess. Um, it's not totally set up the way I want it right now. But this is my little money altar that I have going on. Um, so I have some stacks of moolah here that um, I have put in um, at different times when I just felt called to it. So I have some citrine, a big piece of pyrite. This is from Natasha. I'll link her channel down there. We just did a swap. And then this is a piece of tiger's eye. So these are stones that are known to be great for prosperity and abundance. And I lay those right on top. I keep this here and I just add to it as if I am, I don't know, leaving an offering, if you will, for the crystals to work their magic in abundance in my life. And so I like to sage it every once in a while and that's what I'm about to do. Um, everything's a mess because I just put my desk up. So where is my sage? Here it is. I need a lighter. Do I have one of those over here? I do. Okay. So yeah, this is my little money altar right here. And then this is the guy that I like to keep my sage in. So I'm just going to burn some sage. And essentially what you want to do when you do this is not only cleanse the negative energies or any, you know, bad negative mindsets you have around money, but also say some gratitude and, a, you know, some abundance like affirmations. Like I am abundant. I attract money. I, you know, welcome the flow of abundance and prosperity into my life and just cleanse the energies and set that intention. You really want to get that all up in the crystals and then um, whatever offerings you leave, you can leave other things than money too. You could leave, I mean, you could even leave like coins and stuff if you don't want to leave like dollar bills, but that's kind of how I do it. So I'm going to actually do it for real now and I will chat with you guys in a minute. <laughs> So that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, you can add steps and do other things if you feel called to do that, but that's what I do for the most part. I um, did happen to add another crystal on top this time. This is a green sphere that I have. This is jade. Um, so obviously green is like the color of money. So that's great for prosperity and money, financial abundance kind of stuff. So I added it right on top of the pyrite and I think it's beautiful. So I'm going to leave that there for a while and just get back to work and let the magic do its thing. Mm -hmm. 